welcome back guys so today we are going to learn another very important technique and that is the current divider rule okay so current divider rule is one of the most important rule in the circuit analysis okay uh, which is used to find the unknown currents okay so uh, in order to learn all the concepts behind the current divider rule we are going to solve the question number 34 in our book in which we are asked to find the values of current i1 and i2 okay in a circuit where the total current or the source current has been given so in order to solve this question let me represent uh, i1 with the red color while this i2 with this green color okay uh, what we have to do we have to apply the current divider rule to find out the currents here so in order to do it let me represent my circuit with another circuit in which the impedances are represented by these blocks okay so this is block number one and similarly here we have another block and let me call the impedance of it is z2 okay so this is z2 this is z1 and what we have to do we have to find out the current i1 i am representing it with the red color as i have mentioned it here and similarly i want to find out the current i2 okay uh, which i am going to solve by using the green color so in order to find the value of i1 what i have to do so by current divider law or current divider rule what i have to do i have to find out the value of current i1 so i have to take the ratio of uh, the impedance which is in parallel with the impedance across which i want to find out the current so the impedance across which i want to find the current here is the z1 and the parallel impedance with it is z2 okay so what i have to do for i1 i have to write here z2 okay and divide it over the summation of the impedances which are connected in parallel with each other okay so here z1 and z2 are connected in parallel so i am taking their summation and multiply it over the current which is basically the source current which is here okay so that is the source current and i have to multiply it with this one okay uh, so this is a very interesting equation and that's why this is called the current divider rule so uh, here i have an issue that in this circuit i don't know the values of z1 and z2 uh, while uh, here I can find out the values by using the ratio of z2 or z1 plus z2 while the value of i is already known which is here this is the value of i which is already known so in order to find the values of z1 and z2 let me see it here that here we can see that this is z1 okay if I can see here that okay so let me draw these values over here so this is now if i can see so this is now z2 while this one here this is z1 okay so here i can very easily see that the value of z1 is how much that is 22 ohm as this is a real quantity so i am going to write it like this one okay similarly the value of z2 we can see here that here two two inductive reactances are connected in series with each other so uh, in series the impedances are added together so i am going to write z2 as xl1 plus xl2 okay so as these are the inductive reactances therefore i must have to write j with them here as well now writing their values what i will get this will be j the value of xl1 is 60 and the value of x2 is 20 so here z2 will be equal to how much this is now j 80 okay so that is j 80 ohm so now i know the values here so let me put these values over here so i1 is now equal to the value of uh, z2 is j80 divided by z1 is 22 plus j80 and multiply it with this 
current total current which is already given here and that is 20 with an angle of 40 degrees okay so now this one is the equation here which i have to solve and uh, for solving them it is already known that here the mathematical operations involved are basically the multiplication and division and for the multiplication and division the most feasible form for us is the polar form okay so now i will also put the link of the video over here if you want to revise the concepts of the phasor so i am putting the link over here so now uh, in order to solve it what i have to do converting them into the polar form so here this j80 will be 80 with z 90 degrees okay while this a 22 plus j it is how much so let me calculate it okay so 22 plus 80 with the iota okay now converting it it to the polar form this one and in polar form it would be 82.96 okay so that is now 82.96 and the angle it has is how much angle is now here so that is 74.62 74.62 multiplied with the current which is already in the polar form so now let me solve it so here i1 is uh, here so now writing the amplitudes here so 80 multiplied by 20 divided by 82.96 okay and the angles associated with them are 90 degrees plus 40 degrees so these are basically the angles associated with the numerators while the denominator angle will be subtracted from them so it would be 74.62 okay so now the value of i1 is how much let me calculate it so uh, 80 multiplied by 20 divided by 82.96 so it would be how much that is 19.29 so 19.29 amperes okay and the angle it has is 90 plus 40 is 130 130 minus 74.62 so 130 minus 74.62 how much would it be it is now 50 55.38 degrees okay so that is the value of current which i had to find out here so uh, i have very easily find out the value of current i1 by using the current divider law here okay now in order to find the value of the current uh, i2 let me use the green marker here so in order to do it what i have to do let me write the formula of for the current divider law so i2 is now how much so the i2 current is flowing through the impedance z2 so therefore i have to take the value of z1 uh, which is in parallel with the z2 so z1 then divided over the summation of the impedances and multiply it with the total current so the same values here now uh, writing the values here so the value of z1 is how much the value of z1 is we can see here that it is this is 22 ohm so 22 and divided over z1 plus z2 which is already the same value so uh, i have already converted it into the polar form so let me use the polar form here as well and that is 82.96 with an angle of 74.62 and multiply it with the total current which is 20 and 40 degrees okay so uh, this one is again here so now let me calculate the value of i2 by using the same procedure which i have done previously so this 22 is the real quantities therefore the angle with it is now zero degrees okay so now multiplying the amplitudes so 20 multiplied by 22 divided by 82 point 96 okay and the angles with it are zero plus 40 and minus 82.96 degrees okay uh, so let me calculate it so i2 is how much 
let me calculate it so it would be 22 multiplied by 20 divided by 82.96 so it would be how much that is 5.3 amps so this is now 5.3 amps and the angle it has is that is for plus 40 and minus 82.96 is minus 42.96 degrees okay so that is the value of current which i had to find out so this is i2 so um, we have seen that by using the current divider law we have found out the values of i1 and i2 and uh, you can also find the same values if you already know the input current which is basically the source current and uh, all the impedances which are connected in parallel with each other okay so that is the essence of this question and i hope uh, all the conceptual ambiguities are cleared now okay so thank you so much and i will see you with some more questions in our upcoming videos see you soon